testing room full of nervous shoulders that are holding up dubious heads. This is where you don't type or breathe too loud in fear of messing with someone else's concentration. Some of us are teenagers the American education system chewed around and spat out before the end of senior year. The rest have already had what they call the first day of the rest of your life and they are looking to remake that day. This is where you are silently cheering for everybody in the room even though you have never said a word to each other before. I didn't expect to drop out of high school when I was 15. I didn't expect for my mental health to convince me that every brick and mortar building has teeth that cannot wait to sink into me. I didn't expect to struggle doing nothing for a year then get a GED in less than six months. When I was younger, everyone would always tell my parents I was such a smart girl. A smart girl who was going places and now, when I explain that I have a GED, and not a high school diploma. People just nod sympathetically or roll their eyes as if I should be ashamed of what was not in my control as if to say, smart girls don't break fine china expectations. Smart girls don't burn the maps someone else drew for her. Smart girls don't make things complicated. Smart girls don't. Smart girls don't, but I did. And I don't regret it one bit because in this testing room, we are all working to defy every half-assed good luck with that because we don't need any of that. We've got our mother's undying support or two kids back at home who are truly rooting for us or just ourselves. We have ourselves. So don't look at our diplomas as frail or little. Don't look at our transcripts as half empty. Don't look to me as if I am no longer a smart girl because I didn't go by your rules. A smart girl wouldn't have gone by your rules if they risked her health, her future, her life. Every time I go in to take a test, the woman who signs me in asks me the same question. What is the worst that can happen in that testing room? I say, I failed the test. She says, yes, and you can retake it as many times as you need here. Failure is not permanent. Failure gives you do-overs. Failure is not you, and you are not failure. The only reason our shoulders are nervous and our heads are dubious is because of all of the doubt the system fed us. The system fed us, but the system failed us. We did not fail ourselves here. We are responsible for our own success. Here, I can prove I don't owe you anything. Here, I can remind myself that I'm still a smart girl.